What's up, Rangers? Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name is Arnaz. And today we're gonna do an anime video because we haven't done these in like forever. Anything anime related. Outside of action figure news. And unboxings. I was just pushing the box out of the <laughs> <laughs> Something fell and I was scared. So we're gonna try and do like versus ish series. Yeah. But we're gonna try to be a little bit more funny with it because we didn't want to do like something versus something. And we were thinking of doing like waifus versus waifus. And who's the best waifu? But we'll pick out an anime and we'll just duke it out between all the females in that anime. Because I think what we uh, eventually do with this series is we'll probably do waifu versus waifu. But what we're going to do is try to figure out who is best waifu. And we'll go over stuff kind of like a versus series. But, uh, and then we'll let you guys decide in the comment section below who is best girl in the anime. And then she will move on to the next bracket. And it's mainly good. We're going to stick with the animes that we've seen. Which is a lot, mind you. God, I feel sorry for you guys. <laughs> we can pump out a video every day. But somebody requested stuff. us do a versus series, or a versus video at least, of something that isn't kaiju related. That is true. So we were like, what better than waifus? It's all we collect outside of giant monster stuff is anime girls for the most part. Yeah, if you can just see this. Yeah, which we're going to go with one of our Nez's favorite animes for the first one. Just because... There isn't a whole crap ton of girls in the anime, so you it's easy to kind of pick out who's the top contenders. And right now, we're letting you guys know, the little girl is out. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alice don't count. <laughs> Even though she's a part of the plot, she don't count. Gotta be certain age, dang it. We're mainly going to be picking uh, the main characters in the series. Uh, most of the offshoots, unless it's specific. Uh, we can't really contend for best girl. So, animes like Konosuba, they have a, like a bunch of offshoot characters, but they're kind of central to the plot. They'll count. Uh, yeah. But for this one, it's like, for High School of the Dead is what we're doing. Like, the, the random girl on the bus, her sniper friend, because there isn't really that much. Yeah, just she's a sniper. Oh no, like there isn't any details on her. Maybe we could toss her in? She's, but she's not really a part of the plot, she's just kind of... Yeah. It's like, that's who the apartment is, owns the apartment. Yeah, but then, like, if we go that world, then we gotta do the girl, the police officer from the mall, and then it's just... But she's not in the main anime. We're only sticking with the anime. Oh. Because if we were doing manga, I would actually count her. She is kind of cutesy. We're only doing anime. So, who's up for contention here is Saya, uh, Saido, Shizuka, and Rei. Now, for me... I feel like Ray is probably the most basic girl in the bunch. I do feel like she is the, she's like the center. Like the, the there's two ends right here, and like she's in the center. She's just like the flat line character. Yeah, because for me, in terms of like overall looks and appearance, like for this anime, she's pretty plain. Uh, she's probably the most like real. It's hard to say relatable character, but in terms of just looks wise. Uh, something that you would see like out on the streets. Yeah. While some of the other characters are a little bit more exaggerated in certain areas, so those you might not see it nearly as much. So for person X, she can be kind of abrasive, but I can't even say loyal because like she was dating his friend. No, she's a bitch when it comes to <laughs> and then to hops to him that. after yeah. her friend after his friend he actually killed him. Yeah. But she's like, oh, now all suddenly I love you. No. Yeah, even though they were like a thing to begin with. Yeah, they were a thing. And then she didn't like what he was doing. And then she went to his friend, which is kind of crap. Yeah, and then ends up trying to hop back with them. Which kind of starts to work. But then we have these other characters too getting involved. Which, thank God for Saito. <laughs> Sayoko? Sayoko. Miss Bushima. Yes, Sayoko. Did I say Saito? Yes, you did. Oh. It's all right, Sayoko. Uh, but she's just kind of like, eh, for me. Yeah, she's like the one that's like, a, like, if we choose, she'd probably be the first one to go out of the bunch. I feel, because what she brings to the table in terms of positives is looks. She's good with a bow staff. Like, she has some martial arts abilities. She's, and, she's a fairly intelligent character for the series. And I will post a picture just so you guys can see which character we're talking about. So, that'll be that. Yeah. And she's 
Honestly, probably one of the more badass characters in the anime. I'd say probably second. Second. Like, but for negatives, can you really trust her? She freaks out a lot of the time. But then again, she's like fairly lovey-dovey. She's also a smart butt. Well, smart A-S-S, but I'll say smart butt. Yeah. Like the whole incident with like the cash register, you know, where she was like, he's like, well, do you have money? And she's like, you know? Yeah, so her mom gets her in some situations. Definitely, for sure. Uh, but, so, I feel like she kind of gets knocked off earliest. Uh, we're just going to keep going up the train, and we'll, go, we'll get to who we th- argue best girl. Because the next girl, I feel like we have to take out a contention is... Would you say Shizuka Sensei? Yeah, and she is amazing, but God, her stupidity knows no bound. And for her to be a doctor and that stupid, <laughs> it's just does not work. She doesn't out. have much common sense. Like, yeah. she, there's parts of the show where she is really good in her field, but then there's parts where, like, she can't fight. So you got that going against you. But her and body's so hot, she just gets guys who sacrifice themselves. For her. But how realistic is that body? <laughs> but then, yeah, yeah. I'll save you, teacher. Oh, she's like, thanks, whoever you were. <laughs> I sacrificed myself for that body. Yeah, it was like the shower, the, 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 the bathroom the scene bathroom alone. The bathroom scene is just Which is like, kind of like all the girls. She's just sitting there and she's like, pushes it and it just goes. Yeah, pushes it. She, mm-hmm. So if you're drowning, she could save you. Yeah, I guess. Uh, but she's probably the most financially secure out of all the girls. Yeah. But then again, she's also the easiest out of all the girls. And but I, she got a little drunk and she was already ready to go to Pound Town. Yeah. She is mature, though, which is, like, kind of thing, I guess. Mature woman. She's probably the oldest one of them all, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah it was just... Well, definitely. She's, she worked there. Yeah. But... I feel like her cluelessness kind of hurts her a bit in this anime. And then just her just kind of being... She's a main character, but I delegate her to the side. Because she doesn't really do a whole hell of a lot. Now she drives a bus and she gets people to sacrifice themselves for her. That's about it. Yeah, you know, like, the apartment scene is probably the most memorable scene with her. That sticks out in my head. Because especially when they get to the mansion... She's just there. <laughs> so we're just going to kind of toss her to the side, too. And I feel like the top two contentions is between Sayo- Sayoko or Saya. Now, I love me some Saya body. I think she has... I think she has best body. She has best body, for sure. For sure. But, and she's got... She's pretty smart. Well, smartest character. Yeah. Next to, probably, Kodo? Yeah, Kodo is definitely better. Like, her attitude... Is the one thing that beats everyone. That's kind of it. Like, she's like Little Miss Princess is the problem there. Like, she still, it's like, she probably does, like, probably the third most stuff in the anime. Because, like, it's mainly focused around Rei and Sayoko. And then she is, like, the brains of the bunch. But usually yeah. most of the stuff kind of focuses around the other two girls. Yeah. Especially later on with Sayoko. But. There's, like, the whole quote-unquote unknown S.E.X. scene, you know, that happened between them two and the, uh... Yeah, well, you know something happened. Yeah. Well, they don't show you. Something happened. Because definitely, like... No, that's why I was like, Saya, no! <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so you gotta deal with her, uh, highly opinionated attitude. And that's, which like... Which is what kind of drags her down. But then again, she's gonna get you out of most situations. Yeah, because she can think of a way out. She figured out that zombies go after the sound. They can't see you, you know. Like I said, she's got the brains, but it's her attitude that it's like, oh, oh, oh man. It's one of those, like, I think I could deal with it. I kind of do now. I was going to say, don't you kind of deal with that now? <laughs> For the most part. It's just her mouth that she keeps running when she shouldn't, like, you know. It's just... That's her biggest downfall. If it wasn't for that, she would be number one for sure. Because she always seemed like that girl, like, out of the bunch, like, I want to save. Yeah. Well, Sayoko needs no saving from no man. <laughs> That's, like, probably one of her biggest thing is, like, 
That's a zombie apocalypse. I'm not risking my life for you. I need you to risk your life for me. Yeah, because she's easily the most confident out of the bunch. Best fighter. Hands down. Uh, looks wise. I like Saya personally, but I would say overall, Sayoko is probably the best l She's got the looking face. girl. Yeah. But her body's a little bit more athletic. Still exaggerated, but athletic. And she has, like, some of the better scenes, I think. Because, like, like, cause, like I like the scene with her and Saya where they're having, like, the sister conversation. And she, like, dumps the cold water on her. Yeah. And she's like, you got a nice bedroom voice. And then there's the part where they go to the shrine. And the build up to that where she kind of goes a little crazy. Which that's the one negative is. She's got some homicidal tendencies. No she does. <laughs> and like I think. And I think that's what I like about her is she doesn't care. She is ready. She knows what this is. She's not going to pretend. And she's there. Yeah she also seems probably the most loyal out of the bunch. Oh yeah. For sure. Well I have an issue of like what happens if you like screw up that one time. She'll cut your pee-pee off. She will cut your pee-pee off. <laughs> so Check that's that. why where I say it's debatable. Because she's also like, she comes on, she comes on strong. Oh, yeah. Well, Saya's got a little more of the, like, the sundry tendencies. Because there's like that whole, like, she's like, cooking with just the apron. Mm. Aprons. Where's that figure at? Yes. <laughs> Ernest has the figure of that one. I will find, where is that figure? Oh, there it yeah, is. Yeah, what was it? She had like a cucumber or something she got out of the fridge. <laughs> it was just like dibbling the tip of it or something. Like it's just like that anime. Like this. Well, well except we replaced the uh, apron with her shirt because it's just... I like the shirt better. Yeah. Apron is cool, but the shirt is more... Where she got it like wet when they jumped into the fountain. Yeah, this leaves it more to my imagination kind of thing. Yeah, I always appreciate that a little more. So, yeah, so that's where I feel like between this anime, it's between Saya and Sayoko, who's the best girl. Yeah, but at the end, it's up to you guys. So, let us know in the comment section below who you think is best girl from High School of the Dead. I so I originally, in the first cut, said High School DXD. I was like, I failed everyone. That's probably the next one, so it's okay. I got a few figures I think I get, too. I get to pick the next one, right? Yeah. What are we Sweet. doing? As long uh, as it's not a remote, they're all too young. <laughs> Too young, I said. High school. Yeah, but they're all high school. End. High school. They're all at the end, though. They're like they're seventeen and eighteen and twenty. Still plus. not legal stateside. I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't gonna pick a Rebo, but I'm just stating. Rebo is horrible. I, I think next I want to do Tenchi Muyo. I think Tenchi could be an interesting one. Yeah, and she's got a lot of chicks. But now the question is, which Tenchi are we going with? There's so many of them. They're all, well, you just go with the main cast. Because they're on each one. I think the Tenchi in Tokyo adds one girl that I would probably add to it. I'm not going to go into GXP and that crap. <laughs> What's well, not? But we'll probably go like the main girls from Tenchi, Tenchi Universe, Tenchi in Tokyo. Because there's only really, between all of them, you'd add one girl. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.